Hello YouTube. Here we have a thermostat and thermostat housing from a 2002 BMW 330Ci, which is an E46 series. Um, this particular thermostat came out of the inline six. Um, apparently this is a very common thermostat housing uh, and thermostat from uh, the BMW. I have had a lot of problems over the last couple of years with these thermostats. Uh, what keeps happening is in the fall of the year, the temperature of the coolant, the temperature of the engine has to basically max out or overheat before the thermostat will open and then the thermostat abruptly pops open. Um, the first time it happened, the expansion tank on the car actually blew up and it was quite a expensive repair. Anyway, um, I did a little bit of research. I read the service manual uh, on this and found out something interesting. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this and I'm sure that other manufacturers do it as well. Um, but BMW uses a heater in their thermostat. This is not a uh, temperature sensor. It's actually a heater. I was under the assumption that it was a temperature sensor and that they use two temperature sensors, one in the outlet of the radiator and one here uh, to get uh, you know more input to the ECU. Uh, anyway, for those of you who don't know, the way that a thermostat works traditionally would be that the coolant would heat up the thermostat and once it reaches around say 100 degrees celsius uh, the thermostat would open and the coolant starts flowing through if the coolant gets too cold for any reason like excessive cooling um, the thermostat will close so basically the thermostat is regulated by the temperature of the coolant um, and BMW's infinite wisdom they wanted to be able to control the temperature of the engine um, based on driving conditions, throttle position, engine load, stuff like that. So they wanted to bypass the input from the coolant. So what they do is they have this heater, which draws about an amp, uh, and it heats, well this one is anyway, it might be only drawing an amp because it's bad, but it draws an amp and uh, it heats up the thermostat from inside. There's a probe that goes inside of it. Let's see maybe if I can pop it apart here. I don't, I don't really have any tools right on hand here, but oh, there we go. Fairly easy to repair. So we'll just pull this thermostat. Off, and there is the heater or heat probe and it goes inside of the thermostat and when it heats up it pushes away and opens up and allows coolant to flow through um, so I don't know if uh, other manufacturers have an issue with this or not but uh, the one that they use on this vehicle is definitely problematic. I've used a different brand uh, most recently, and this old one is a Motorrad. I've used a few different brands. I think the one that I just put on is the fourth one that I've replaced, I believe. And it seems to happen about once a year. Um, so we'll see how it goes this time with the new one. It seemed a little bit uh, better quality, a little uh, better built. But, uh, yeah, that's my story about the uh, E46 thermostat and thermostat house.